So when I first started building my business, I had read all these case studies where people were like, look, I made a hundred grand in my first six months in business. So I go into business completely green and complete novice, totally naive. And I think that in six months, not only am I going to quit my job, but I'm going to be totally rich. Now, obviously that did not work out. And in fact, for two or three years, I was wondering why I was such an idiot and why everyone else seemed to be having this kind of success that I was not having. And that only got worse when I actually went to a couple conferences and met people that were actually millionaires. And my only thought for meeting them was, this dude is a millionaire? If so, I should be the next goddamn Elon Musk. But that kind of feeling of resentment and anger really did not help me become more successful. Now in this video, I want to share some of the things that I worked on and what maybe will help you in terms of if you feel like you are a failure at life and things are just not working. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now I've got something really cool coming up pretty soon. I'm launching a brand new 12 month kind of goal setting or life transformation program. It's gonna be really about the 12 pillars I did in my life, each month focusing on a core habit, a core affirmation, and each week one exercise to improve that part of my life, finances, relationships, purpose and meaning, fitness, all those things. So if you wanna be notified, you have to click the link in the description. It's the goal setting list. So you're gonna not only get a free worksheet there, you'll also get a series of emails related to setting goals. But I will notify you of the program there. So for me, the first step in overcoming failure, especially when it's something you eventually wanna succeed in, is really to accept yourself, but on the condition that you're good now, but you can improve. Everything's okay, but you need to get better. You know, in my business, I could have just been that resentful, angry person that hated everyone else's success because I was like, these people are all idiots compared to me. Well, how are they successful then? They're winning. I'm not winning. So I better shut my mouth and get better. And so I had to teach myself they know skills or have skills or think differently than I do. So I had to learn that. You know, the same is true of dating. It's my favorite analogy to use because... I could be one of these whiny incel dudes on the internet, involuntarily celibate. That's the whiny approach to being a victim of life. And instead, I chose to improve myself. I chose to improve the things I didn't like about myself, and I chose to improve some things that were external. But behind all of this is accept yourself, but I know I can do better. And that's key. It's really key to have both of those, because otherwise, you don't accept yourself. There's going to be a lot of negative emotions And if you don't improve, you're going to make the same mistakes. The second thing for me is always to rewrite your mistakes. Because for me, I've seen that so many people in life get the same results because they do the same thing for decades. It's like people don't reflect at all about what's not working. I've been single for 10 years, but I don't want to be. Well, have you ever thought about why you're single? You know, like if I'm dating people, I'm like, hey, I'm trying to get a girlfriend. I go out to bars five days a week and I'm like, Hey, sweetheart, can I buy you a drink? And every time it's a no, why would I keep doing that? And yet so many men keep doing that. And so many of us metaphorically do that in other parts of our lives. You know, in my business, if I wasn't getting good results and I wasn't tracking my expenses, like, holy crap, I was spending a lot of money that month. I was overspending. There are millions of businesses that go out of, they just lose their business. They go completely into debt. They fail because of overspending. So if I'm doing the same thing I've always done, I'm going to get the same thing I've always gotten. So always the foundation of overcoming failure, depression, is improving oneself. It's not just, this is the way it is. It's no, I am really bad with finances right now in my life. Those are habits I got to work on to have a better life in the future. The third thing for me, the third step, is to script out the next chapter of your life. Now, what's cool is I still have journal entries from five years ago, right when I started my business, right when I wanted to improve my life, right when I was finally becoming a doer and not a philosopher. And when you're scripting out by literally writing out what do you want the next year, six years, 10 years of your life to look like, or just the next phase, the most important thing to me 
is to make sure that I am not the same person, that I've grown, that I've acquired a new mindset, new philosophy, new skills, and new habits to change my life, to actually improve it. Because to me, the reason why we live the same year over and over and over again for our whole lives is because we do the same thing. And the reason we do the same thing is because we are the same person with the same thoughts, beliefs, and habits. So I know if I can change those, I can overcome any failure in my life. And although it doesn't guarantee you can have whatever level of success and happiness you want, it will be a dramatic improvement and that I'm willing to bet my life on. So I hope that helps you guys, no matter what domain of life you're struggling with failure in, to me it always has to start with accepting yourself, but then getting better and making sure you are not the same person doing the same things from then on out. And I don't see a lot of humans do that. Now again, I'm launching a super awesome new life transformation program. It's going to be a very affordable monthly price, like 10 bucks a month. It's like my equivalent of launching a Patreon. Each month, we're going to focus on one pillar of personal development, one pillar of improving your life. And each week, we get a simple habit and a simple affirmation to improve that part of your life for a whole year, all right, with live streams and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So if that interests you, click the first link in the description, add yourself to that list, and about in two, three weeks, I will let you know when it's open. And of course, my last pieces of content are right there and right there.